Jack. Hello and welcome to The Amazing Race. Um, a little late this week, but we promise for the finale it'll be out. No, but we, we gotta stop. We can't make promises. We can't. Get it'll it. be out. We say it every week and then we lie. It'll be out before the next uh, season of Amazing Race. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a good one. I thought it was a pretty decent episode. Yes. Um, we'll get to some of the other stuff later on. Okay. We'll have some comments from our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, but they're going to Manila. Yes. And... They the Philippines, right? Philippines, yes. Okay. And they meet Phil, greets him at the at the start of the race. Yes, and everybody was like kind of freaking out at first. Phil, Phil. Like they like, all were like on pins and needles. <laughs> oh, it's scary. It's scary because Phil's a scary guy. Yes. Uh, but they're going to start. Where they start is where the race is going to end. Yes. It's all in uh, Manila. It's There's uh, no roadblocks. No No detours. detours no. Just clues and then get to the end. Both, each person is racing, so it's... it's yes, and then he has a little speech with them, like, you know, I don't know if you guys should have your alliance, yeah. you know, because this is like, you know... The, like. I know a lot of people, obviously, was, this was filmed two years ago, so they didn't know, you know, how the fans were reacting to it, but I think they know the fans weren't going to like the alliance, because any, anything I've been on, people hate the alliance. Well, and I, to be honest with you, I kind of, I found this season not as much fun. Like, I'm like, not excited to see it every week. What about you? I don't want like I don't. I'm not upset with Amazing Race. I just and I'm not upset with the player. I think they're all really nice guys and you know the teams. The teams, excuse me, and everything like that. So I don't want to be derogatory like somebody else that was that's on the show. But I just was like I don't know. It just was a. It just seemed like there was neck to neck and there was like suspension and not suspension suspense and you're like oh my god who's gonna get it and and, and i don't feel like it's that way anymore. Yeah, i think the i think the alliance i think I agree with the people the alliance did hurt it i think yes. w- what you could do going forward is you know if, if you to break you know because uh, survivor does a does a lot to change the game and change you know it's, alliances yeah. so what you could do is maybe have one time one week they don't know if you have like eight teams or uh, ten teams left or whatever right. wh- whatever you have the first five teams Someone gets eliminated. They run separate. They run the same course, Ooh. but they run separate races. So hmm. if you're one through five, you finish one week one through five. Well, you're racing. That's your group. You're going to race against. Okay. Or you go one race is ten, two races nine. Now you're getting really complicated. Well, you, you can mix it up. What I'm saying is that you can mix it up here or there. Where it's like going, oh wait, someone. We don't have our alliance in this right. race. We have to win it ourselves. Yeah, because I, I just found like, I, I mean, I enjoyed all the places they went to. I thought the challenges were a lot of fun. But I I didn't feel like we had that nitty gritty. No, uh, I didn't feel like that tough competition. Yeah. I think maybe we'll see it next week. I don't know, but I'm just throwing it out there. Um, okay. If CBS, right, if you're listening, you can go ahead and take the ideas like you have a hundred times. <laughs> I don't care. Uh <laughs> Okay, Jack. Anyway, well, the first one they they, they get and it's it's called a uh, it's called a GP, right? And they have to hold their hand out to get the right. clue. Well, and they gave him like a riddle, like right. what you know? Hey, the guy's gonna be blah, you know. So basically, you know, it was like if you read the riddle. I don't like riddles, but if you understand riddles, I like, like ruffles. <laughs> but, I like riddles. but you knew that it was you know probably a policeman or someone who does like traffic and that. I don't know what those kind of guys are car. They always. Right, traffic guys. Traffic guys. Okay. Anyway, traffic I didn't know there people. was a. I didn't know there was a certain name or something like that. So, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyways, but the, the, I did notice something. The traffic sucks. I. I they I, said it's the worst traffic in the world I believe, at this place. I believe it because it's. Yes. It's, it's. You would. Oh my gosh! You would have been going crazy. Hold my hand out. Ah! <laughs> mm-hmm. But you know, I do like Gary's. Like, hey, D'Angelo, hold your hand out, but hey. I'll do it when I get have it ready. I'm gonna have it out the whole time. I think at this point they're get they're getting on each other's nerves, but I but I think that, well they talk about it. I, I'll talk about it at the end okay. of the uh, podcast or the thing here. Uh, but Riley and Madison get the clue, and Gary D'Angelo get it the first time. But uh, Chi and Hung and Will and James have to go back around again. And, yes, and Will was not happy. No, I never saw saw him like that. I mean, he even yelled at James. Yeah, James, and, just shut up. Yes, no, he said. I think he, did he say shut up or be quiet. Anyway, I might was have just, been be quiet. Yeah, shut up to bad word. Right, but um, I was just like surprised. I never saw that side of him. Distressed, but it, yeah, it, it, you know. But every time they get like something, they fall behind. It doesn't matter. They still finish at the top. Yeah, but the thing is, another thing is, what I say doesn't matter is that they know they're going to have their alliances of the three. They knew that they were going to be the la- the three in the end. They well, were they didn't keep- know for sure. Yeah, they knew. If Gary and D'Angelo got out to it, and, and a Gary, great start, but... And, and, they, and Gary D'Angelo 
could have won it. You could have. If everybody would have read the clue at the end a little bit better, maybe. Um, and as I said later, which we'll talk about later, you know, he's... Anyway, we'll talk about it later, but we get there. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, both Will and James and, and, and she and Hung get it on the second try. Right. Uh, now they have to race in high heels. I thought this was ridiculous because uh, I'll say this. What if one of them, and, and Phil said it would hurt their... Uh, what if one of them would have twisted... Because you sprain your ankle. Yeah, you, it's, you, it's, and it's, you know. Yeah, it's, it, they say it's just as bad as a break. It is. that You can't do anything with a sprained ankle. Right, and the other thing, too, but I don't know if you guys noticed, the guy with that was running, like, one of the... He wasn't a player. He was just one of the guys. He had, like, yellow shorts on. He had beautiful calves. Just really nice legs. Just wanted to throw that out I, there. I didn't notice that. But I, I just thought, I go, this late in the race, you're risking someone getting hurt. But the, I didn't think the heels didn't seem that high. And then I don't think Phil was wearing heels when yeah, he was showing probably, an example. He probably had. He looked too he, flat. He his feet looked totally flat. He he, he, a little lift. No, but I'm saying, I say no. But I'm saying though, if what if someone would have twisted their ankle or tore their knee up or something like that? But that's not any kind of any of the race. I get it. I just I did, I wasn't happy with the challenge. Okay, all right, Jack. Thank you. Okay. Once they get their clue, they go to get the dancing lions. And, uh, I thought it was funny when Will and James was like, oh, I have heels. This is going to be yeah, easy. Six-inch heels. <laughs> yes, yeah. These are kitten ones. These are right? kitten, kitten heels. <laughs> kitten heels. <laughs> uh, but, it, it, but it's funny, though. You had uh, 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 Riley and Madison finish first, D'Angelo and Gary second. Uh, but Hung and Chi got there after Will and James, but they were able to put their high heels on before. Yeah, that whole thing was weird. And then Will and James ended up beating them anyway. They beat them anyway because they, yeah. they raced by them. Right. Maybe they just felt that they had. And James was way ahead of Will. Yeah. So anyway, like, it was, the whole thing was, again, I just watched the whole thing like, it was like an uneventful leg to me. It was just very uneventful. Like, I knew what the outcome was going to be. Um, even though you had told me, I still was like, eh, okay. It wasn't, there's was no excitement. You have Riley and Madison are stuck in traffic. Yes. That's why they didn't get to the uh, lion thing first. Right. Uh, but Gary and D'Angelo find the clue first. Right. Uh, Will and James are second. Right. And then you have, so now I did like how they had the standings. Yeah, they, they, I would agree with you. Like they kept showing them how they were all moving. Flop, yeah. flop. I, I like that. It didn't give you how Jack far. Jack liked they, it, so thank you, CBS. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't show you how far they were behind. No. But I did enjoy that. Uh, Riley and Madison finished third in, in that leg of the race. And then uh, Hung and Chi can't find the lines. Can't right. find the lines. Well, they got, ended up getting off. You know, not, they weren't even at the location. Yeah. They got up before then. There, I don't know where they were in the whole thing. And I just noticed they, they, did all the teams just have one backpack. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't notice until you pointed it out to me. That hung and she, I did. But, I, but I still, I, I want to know. What do you guys think? I think they all knew that they were going to work together and it was going to be three. Because there was no urgency. I felt like no urgency. Well, you, you can say you're going to work together, but I mean, you'd see, I Hung and she were a little stressed out. But uh, you got to give Hung credit. She does a great line impression. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! Roar! I don't know. I just... It, 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 I mean, I was like going... She was good. She did good. <laughs> Excuse us. Got to be perfect for Jack. Well, as of now, because Will and James are currently in first place, right. Riley and Madison in second. Because they, oh, I forgot to mention the, uh, you have to get, it's it's feed, you have to get a feed, uh, the feed together mm -hmm. to feed a horse to move on to the next thing. So they had to get the grass and the stuff to put together to make the feed. And Gary and D'Angelo were there first. Right, but they kept walking around and they kept, stuff, and missing it. And it's shocking that they weren't observant. They walked right by it because at the time he walks by it, D'Angelo says, I don't see it. It's not over here. And again, it just makes me go back to, they're like professional athletes and I know you have to be observant and and all kinds of, like pay attention to things and moves and little things here and there like out of the corner of your eye. It just, they just seem like they, I don't know. It just seemed... Well, Hung and Chi finally got the clue after they almost uh, strangled another guy in the lion suit. Remember, they're like, all right. Chi went in there, and then Hung goes in there. Oh, and the guy's like, and they go, sorry, sorry. But you realize, after like by the time you get to them, that it was where the drummer was. That's where the yeah. lion was. Yeah, where the Lion King was. Yes. Right? But, uh, but then Gary and D'Angelo went from first to third on this, right. this part of the race because they... Because they were, they out of it, they were they like clueless of what was and, going and on that Will part. And James came in and go, well, I guess we're just going to take the lead. Yeah. And But you notice when the, when Riley and Madison came up, they asked, where's where's the bucket? They didn't tell him. No? I didn't hear him tell him. No, okay. No. Uh, so got the top three teams. Now the final challenge. Now we're already to the final challenge. And they have to line up... They have to put four song. They have to hear four songs that they've heard in the race. Right. Line them up in the order they had in the race. Now they were going. Everyone there was trying to put it in the order they heard it. The band playing. Mm -hmm. No one read the 
clue properly. So I don't know what you thought of the challenge. It seemed tough to me. Well, again, I I feel like, and I, I'm not in a play, so who am I to know what's right or wrong? But at this stage of the game, you're still not really reading the clues all the way. And I feel like they're not, maybe we're going to see it in this last leg, but I feel like they don't have to be so diligent on stuff because they know they're working together. That could be it because... There's it, no it, it, urgency. Especially, especially Will and James who seem like they're super fans. Yes. They they binged a lot of episodes. Right. They, and they, they practice tra- stuff they and, and everything. Practice. Right. How do you not read the clues? That's what I'm saying. Again, I feel like... You know, we don't know all the ins and outs, but I feel like they had some kind of alliance, and they because there was. Well, they did. I watched. How many shows have we watched? And that urgency to be the top three, it's like these people are like, like right. absolutely like stress beyond stress. Right. And I saw none of that. I was just like, well, it you was saw, all you very saw, you saw, days ago. You saw it from Gary and D'Angelo. They're the only ones because they knew they weren't in that alliance. Yeah. So anyway, but, but every team is there working on it except Hung and Chi. They're not there. Right. So this again, one if, if, no if, if, urgency. But what would have happened if Gary and D'Angelo had, say Gary and D'Angelo solved it right away, which they could have, but they were always one they, off. They knew their team, they knew their competitor, they knew that team well, and they knew that they were jocks and that they would not get things as quick, and that's what I think. And that's what they, I, there was no, I just, again, no urgency. But what if they would have finished first? Then, you then everything would have changed. Then everything would have changed. Yeah. It, would have been, it would have been exciting. Right. Um, so they had to put it in order, and nobody is. And I heard Gary and D'Angelo said it was three and a half hours. Now I was thinking, because I heard it on their exit interview, which I'm going to talk about later. They now was it three and a half hours with their two hour penalty? Oh, I don't know. They didn't say, and I didn't. Right. Because when you told me it was three and a half hours, yeah. And then they they realized that the lines was all together and weren't talking to them. I, I said to them to turn to you. I go, well, in that case, why did they just take the two hour lines in the beginning? Two hour penalty. Penalty. Sorry, in the beginning, then they would have been. Of course, able- you never want to do that because you no, don't know how. No, them no but, but I'm just saying they would have been able to finish before if it took the whole teams all four three and a half hours. Oh, you're right. I don't know the three and a half hours include the two hours. Yeah, I don't know. But either way, right? The Hung and Chi finally arrive. Uh, D'Angelo realizes that the alliance. That their alliance is working together. He mm-hmm. goes, look, they're working together. They're whispering. They're saying all kinds of things. Um, you can just see that. I just would have. I would have hung around. I just. I wouldn't have left him. Uh, and then finally, Will reads the clue. Right. And he goes, oh. And then so they figure it out. Yeah, but then how did it? But how did again? Was oh, was it because Will read the clue, figured it all out, told everybody. And then the, br- the well, beer- also Hung and Chi read the clue. right, and but then the Beer Brothers were able to still go up there and do it first because were they the next in line to do well, it? That's why they already had their stuff. Okay, they already had their stuff. They okay. already had. So they all had the four right. They had the four the, right countries, except Gary and D'Angelo, who didn't have France, because in the exit interview, Gary said when he did the challenge, he he finished before the music or something before the music played, so he never heard it because D'Angelo kept saying. Is it France? He goes, no, it's not France. So Gary was saying, no, it's not France, because he never heard the music. Mm. So every time they kept doing it, they didn't have France. Because they had three. They had three. A yeah. lot. They had three several times. Right. But the other teams had the four Yeah, they always had the, they didn't have right. the right spot. They didn't have the right spot, right. because they kept doing it the way. Right. Once they figured that out, they were the next ones up. Right. Because it doesn't matter who finishes them first for the right. final exactly. Right, exactly. Because none of them got any. They right. didn't get anything. Right. But anyway, so they go up there. They go up and solve it. They come running back. Now, if I'm Gary and D'Angelo, and obviously I know they're working together. Right. Once the, the beer, uh, uh, Riley and Madison went up there, I don't, I, I, if I'm D'Angelo, I stay with Hung and Chi. And if I'm Gary, Gary I stay with uh, Will and James. And I wait for them and, and say, okay. And say, okay, either for them to leave. Right. Either you're going to tell me the answer. Right. Like them, or right. you're going to leave. Right. I would I wouldn't have left that, but they just walked up there yep. and they said, "Oh, look, he's give, he's already given right. the answers." Well, why would you leave? Right. I wouldn't have done it. I would. I, I would have said, "Okay, I'm just right. going to stay here. And make I'm going to force you to leave without giving him the correct answers because right. they didn't tell him the correct answer. Right. They didn't know. They right. came running back. Now, eventually, those teams might have gotten it, but you could have just been watching. Okay, what are they picking? Right. Oh, we didn't have France. Right. Boom. Let's go up there. And, right. Anyway, that's. No, I think at that point, D'Angelo was just pretty. Poor sport was really coming out of him. He was just really just, you know, again, 
we found out later that the Beard Brothers had an alliance with the right. secret alliance, and we and then, so you could understand. Yeah. And then watching the whole thing, I just felt like uh, D'Angelo was being a little baby about things. But then when you told me that what they said, yeah, what was the, said in the, in the exit interview, Gary says that people didn't know that uh, Riley and Madison and Gary and D'Angelo had a secret alliance, like from the beginning. And when they got there and they were t- discussing it over, uh, Riley came up to uh, Gary and said, "Hey, if you guys figure it out." You tell us, and we'll tell you. You know, with right. Will and James there, they didn't tell that. Right. So basically, what uh, Riley and Madison were doing was hedging their bets, saying, "Okay, right. well, if we right. if they can get it, we can get it. Right. We're going to be in the finals no matter what." Right. Which is smart, but then they didn't. So when D'Angelo, you guys want to work together? Uh, Will and James said, "No, no, we're not working together." So yeah, they had us. They had an alliance, and they also agreed at that time. Yeah, we'll give it to you, but they didn't. Mm. They went around him, and right. so you had. Uh, uh, let's see. Riley and Madison finished first, and right. then it was just bang bang. It was right. uh, Will and James second, and Hung and Chi third. They're all emotional. Hung was uh, she. Lo- I didn't think they deserved to be the, th- the third. I thought it should have been D'Angelo and Gary. Well, I they, thought they were the better team. They were the better team, but they didn't. They didn't finish it. But and Gary at the he said at eliminate. He said because well the, the race is going to finish in New Orleans. We know they're going to the United States. Right. It's going to finish in New Orleans. Uh, they asked, Phil asked D'Angelo about the race. Would you guys do it again? And, and he goes, no, I would never do it again, D'Angelo. He goes, yeah. I, I was terrible. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. And I, my first thought was like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Now, let me read some of the – we have a Facebook group, Jane Jack Facebook group. And Sherry puts this great page together yes, she does. Uh, every week. And you can go on there and chat about it and stuff like that. Uh, Carol said, wow, I know he was disappointed, but what a poor sport. I agree. And, and again, you know, I always talk about it, you know, you know, even when I used to teach skating, you know, you know, be a good sportsmanship, act like you've been there, you know, congratulate the other person. You know, one time you may not be in the top three. Um, and, and I was disappointed. So someone, someone who is a professional, who plays professional sports, I just thought that was poor, poor sportsmanship. But then when you told well, me okay. about that alliance, yeah, that's when, okay. Yeah. And then uh, Carrie Ann said, I agree with D'Angelo with a poor sport. However, I imagine he was pretty frustrated watching the three other teams ganging up on them like like that. This alliance really soured the season for me. Teams should have to compete tasks on their own. The alliance ruined the show for me. I don't even care about watching the finale because I don't want to see any of the final three teams win. I'm with you, Carrie. Um, I do agree that this the, the alliance has really spoiled the show this year. I, I didn't feel... And it's not just our... I, I've been on several Facebook yes, page, and groups and everyone is right. complaining about it. And I just, on Reddit, they're complaining right. about it. Again, there was, just, I, there was just like, okay, you're watching the whole thing and it's just like... It, it, not that I want everybody to be yelling at each other and be mean to each other. That's not what I'm asking for. It's it's I'm watching it because I'm watching it as if it's a sport and they're playing against each other and they're competing and they're they're trying to to do that leg and the difficulty of doing that leg. Maybe someone's older. Maybe someone has an injury and they're working and seeing that back and forth, that tug and everything. And all I saw was just like skipping and hopping to the end. That's what I thought. Like it was just like. We got to the well, at this end, and I'm it, hoping it, it, that the finale with the three of them that they're going to be really competitive it, it, and we're going to it, finally it, see it again. At this stage, there should be some stress. And yes, right, and there was there, none. It was it was kind of a again holding my hands and skipping to the end. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying I'm not trying to put. There's nothing wrong with skipping, and holding hands. I'm just saying I it's just I felt it was like a sport watching Amazing Race and watching the the disappointments and the agony and all this like that. And I felt none of that. Just like I wasn't even excited to even watch it because I was just like. Towards the last yeah. three or four legs, it was like okay, it was just a, you knew who was going to end up, you know. Anyway, uh, Sherry says if I had two hours to sit and think about what happened, I might be the I might not be the best uh, my best self myself by that time. I got to feel either I probably be in full vent mode too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I yes, because you I, have that just replaying in your head over yeah. and over and over. I agree with you. And uh, Carrie Ann said, I just watched. Uh, uh, D'Angelo and Gary's exit interview and when I saw this I went and found the and I'll put the link to the person that did the exit interview with them in the in the notes so okay. you can click on that it's pretty interesting to hear what their thoughts were it's like 18 19 minutes long so it's not a it's not a major thing it's a right. YouTube channel um, they said they had a had made an alliance with the beer, beer brothers, brothers on the first leg that would help each other get to the final hmm. yeah and then at the music challenge one of the brothers came over and told them if you got it we they would share. share it and vice versa. Okay. Now they're really rooting against the brothers because, you know, now I'm really rooting against the brothers because they already couldn't stand Will and James. So I guess 
I hope it's hung in chi. Uh, I, I, again, I, I would have liked to have seen um, D'Angelo and Gary not hung in chi. Nothing wrong with hung in chi. I just think just the way, I don't know. Anyway, and then I, uh, Randy said, read the clue and then read it again. I understand how they could mess the key info, but after getting nowhere, you'd think that they would refocus and carefully reread the clue again, especially when they they kept putting the thing, they go, it has to be this, it has to be this. Uh, they all waited much too long before revisiting the clue, at least according to the way it was edited and portrayed. It was a long time, according yes, to Gary and D'Angelo. So. And then what surprised me is each one of those top three had issues of not reading the clue and other legs. Yeah. So when they weren't getting it, and then and I got I got what the beer buzzers were doing. They were trying to like to like work it all out, and then the next yeah. person would go, and, and that made sense. Well, they had the four, but they right. didn't have the order because right. they kept going with what the music, music was, doing. was doing. Right. Again, like I said, each one of those top three had issues when they were in legs and they didn't read the clue all the way. Especially Hung and Chi. How many times did they do it that they didn't do it right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> where at least four times they didn't read the clue before they you know, and then they realized, like, oh, we gotta get better. I mean, every time they would have an exit interview they would talk about we got to get better at reading the we clue at reading so it. i mean the key to every single part of any leg of this amazing race well, is always they the clue they didn't really read the clue in this one because they the lions they were they didn't have to did they no well, no i guess oh the lions i said the reliant the lions. alliance well, i said again luckily hung does a great line impression <laughs> whatever again i was a king of the I'm, a, I'm looking forward to next week just to see i'm not against the beer brother because I, I look at when you get to the end like that all bets are off, yeah. you know. So I could see where you would make a decision and change your mind. Um, well, Garrett, like I said, Gary and, and I, if I was if I was the Beard Brothers, I would put Hung and Chi because they're weaker. I wouldn't have put I wouldn't have had the top because Gary and 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 D'Angelo, if it's a race and that kind of stuff, they're better at that than Hung and Chi would probably be. Yeah. Um, but um, I I can understand where he kind of changed his mind a little bit. But no, he, he was playing it safe. Yeah, he was. Like, yeah. Look, if, 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 if we're in with all four teams left, right? So. It's almost like we can't lose. Right. Is what I, I, think I would agree. I, and I, I believe it's the top two teams are going to be either, you know, Will and James and um, R- Riley and uh, Madison, I think. Is yeah, that, I, I, either I, one of those. I don't, I, I would find it very unusual for Hung and Chi to win. I'd be, that would surprise me. What because Hung you? and Chi was a strong team in the beginning. Yeah, but, but they got, but they just tired out a little bit, I yeah, think, towards I, the I end. I think they've just, yeah, they're, they're not as strong no. as they were at the beginning. But who knows? It just depends on who, Absolutely. if there's cabs involved. Or, right. Any, but anything. I, I, I did want to talk about more about the exit interview. Um, D'Angelo, first I was like, I was like, I go, wow, what a poor sport. Right. You're, I go, how many people would, would kill, kill to be on the show? Yeah. Be, you know, right. I, you know, I would want to be on the show. You'd want to be on the yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's why I, we, I think any, probably fifty percent of the people watching the show, I'd like to do it. And when he goes, I would never come back. Yeah. I, I hated it. It was terrible. I didn't right. like and didn't enjoy it. Right. What he, if you listen to the exit interview, and again, I'll post the link in the the comment sec or the in the notes. He said, and what Gary was saying too, he goes, uh, D'Angelo doesn't watch TV. Oh. So he doesn't watch a lot of TV. He had never seen The Amazing Race. Oh. Never. Gary talked him into doing it because they like to tra- they like to travel together. Okay. And what he likes to do when D'Angelo's traveling, he likes to go out and see, if I'm traveling, I want to see things. Well, what right. happened was during this Amazing Race when they were filming it, it was two years ago, mm-hmm. they didn't let him out of the hotel. Oh, that's they, odd. They, they weren't allowed to go and explore and, and see things. So he goes, "Yeah, you could see the Eiffel Tower, but we couldn't go. We couldn't go. We couldn't go to. We couldn't go see it." He goes, "Well, so I was like, you know, I, I have money. I can. I'd rather if I'm going to travel, I'm right. going to go do the things on my own." He goes, "I wonder why they changed the rules because remember we we talked to the hockey guys yeah. and they were talking about how they would do at night when everybody else was sleeping. They would then go out and kind yeah. of um, and, and figure see, everything and see the figure, sights and figure everything out." Yeah. But he goes, I, I think it might be like a more liability thing. He goes, if someone were to get hurt going out there. Yeah, but they did that for years that way. Maybe someone sued. I don't know. Maybe someone right. got hurt. I don't know. But they, he goes, because, yeah, he goes, and then we're just stuck in the hotel room, and you're stuck in there all day. He goes, he goes, yeah, it was fun doing it. He was, I enjoyed doing the challenges and stuff, even though he kind of said he didn't like it first. Maybe he had time to think about what he said. Right. But he said, yeah, if I could go out and – see things I'd do it again because no, I, there's no way I'd go do it if I have to be stuck in the right. hotel room I, right. you know, when I can see out my window there right. you know there's something right. I want to see right. but I can't go out and visit it so yeah. when I heard that I went okay yeah I still wouldn't have said what you said right because Gary I guess when they walked away Gary said yeah you blew it you shouldn't have said that because uh-huh. Gary was like going you know well because I think Gary knows he, he probably watches TV and he knows how the reality world is you right. know, it, 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 well like that but I don't I don't know where you go if you get any other different you know like contract, I don't know if you get like 
see TV. I don't know if TV ads. I don't know if people see you and say, "Oh, I like you." Well, I, it, it does. That you do have people that like in different, you know, survivor. Right. But I'm just saying exactly. But I'm saying for D'Angelo, you know, because he is a, a professional football player and just a different ex- thing, ex football player that maybe he could have got other opportunities from it and so you when you're in, yes you're disappointed I mean there's many t- I mean I, 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 when you get let, let go of a job I had one in San Diego you're, the things you want to say in your head but it's a small community skating so you kept I kept my mouth shut I thanked them I was professional I you know you don't say the things you really want to say right um, because you don't know it's a small world small community and I would think he should know that just being he wasn't naive I, I, to the world I, I don't think he cares I think he. I think he doesn't. Yeah, I, that he was. You said he wasn't a top-notch player, so he well, couldn't he, have made he, that much money. Well, he was a good. He was, no, he was a good player. But he, okay, not, well, what I'm he, saying he's not a Hall of Famer. Okay, so what kind of money could he have made? He probably, millions. He, I mean, he definitely made millions. Okay. He said he. He probably doesn't need the money. He said. You know, he goes. I wasn't doing it for the money. Right. I was doing it for the adventure, and he goes. And the way Gary explained it, yeah, you get to travel, you get to see oh, things, and, okay. and, and their goal was to see every country. Okay. Which they did. They 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 right. completed. Go, but he goes. But then De- D'Angelo even said he goes. Yeah, but once I got to that, when I got to the final four, I wanted to win it. Right. And he goes. My my competitiveness got to you know. Yeah, I can see that. Goes, so I think it was more a little bit of sour grapes, but also I think he just was like when he explained it that way. I went. Yeah, again, I wouldn't have said that. I would have said, you know, sign me up next week, Phil. Right. I'm back here next week because that's, right. that's what people want. they have watch. an all-star and they have other things. And, like and, you said, and, that's, they have... what people, and that's what right. people want to see. And they, right. they're a pretty good team. They're fun to watch. Yeah. So I would have said, you know, I would say, yeah, they could come back. Right. But Hey, we all make mistakes. We all say things we shouldn't say. Yeah. He didn't say anything that was inappropriate no. or wrong to say. He felt, he said his true feelings. He didn't say, I'm going to kill you. Right. He, he, I mean, he did say his true feelings. I mean, you can see Phil's face. He was kind of shocked by it because I don't think he was used to anybody doing no that. No one's but, ever said this before. I know. But again, I don't think it was, you know, he, he, whatever he said wasn't going to hurt or murder or do anything to people. So no. it's nothing like we all have to be so devastated about what he again, said. Again, it's, it's, I think it's because we I, as, I, as I viewers think, feel like we want to do this. How could you act like this? Well, we would have done I think your spot. I, I want to say he's out of touch, but you know he has money. He's had fame, he, right? You know he's he's had he's, all he's, the he's, stuff. He's at the top of right. his profession. I think I think sometimes when you, you you're out of touch, you don't realize that when you're saying stuff like that. I don't know how if he's on social media or anything like that. That you can't say things like that because again, he should know better. He's yeah. in sport. he was a professional football player. Yeah. He's he's been told. They, I'm sure they discuss interviews and how to do this, how to do that. Come but on. you still have people saying stupid things, even though True. they're told left and right not to say but, anything. But again, bottom line, it's just a show. So yeah. should they have aired it? Should yes. They, or just, uh, 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 no, it should be no. We I, should I, hear I that. Was just throwing it out there no. for argument. We have enough editing in life. We should hear what's really going on. <laughs> Anyway, that's all we got. We will be back for the finals. We'll hopefully have it no later than okay. Friday. Who's going to win? I maybe? say the Beards. I the think, Beards, brother. I think with you. Riley and Madison. Yeah, I think. Unless I agree. something happens, I think it's between them, like you said, them and Will. Will and, and James. Will and James. But uh, we'll see what happens. And, and if they don't, where's the clue? And if they say, I can't tell you. Yes. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting. Or, or would you tell them the wrong information? I don't know. Good question. I would. Okay. Well, like, you're you're a jerk. I'm not a jerk. I'm there to win it. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. the clues down a mile <laughs> down that way. You got to get high high heels on first. You do, and thanks for everyone what you do. And that's all we got. Thanks. Until next time. Bye. Bye.